Hi guys, it's Micah. Today I'm back with card number 9 in my 24 weeks of Christmas cards. And I made another shaker. Yay! Here it is. I love shakers. I made one two weeks ago. I, this just came out. It's from Studio Light. It's called Stencil SL205. In the Netherlands we call them cutting stencils. Snijmalle or snij stencils. Which is probably better than dyke ties die cuts because of the word die but I cut it out just like it's on the packaging from purple and also made a hole which is included in my card front now put it all together I'm sure there's an easy way like using the round which is bigger the round circle cutting stencil let's call it that but I wasn't sure um, I wanted to make a snow globe shakers you know because then you would have to put it on top of your card base so I'm just tracing all the openings and this is how it should look the one in the back is probably a little bit too light but I have many purples and lilacs and none of them go together <laughs> uh, or they will be really dark or really bluish uh, or really pinkish and uh, well I thought this was the best combination but you can do whatever you want you can do it in blues of course because of the arctic feeling or you can do it in greys like it's a night scene that would be really nice actually um, see the I'm just cutting where I think I need it and did that same with that one actually I'm gonna use the dark purple as my uh, shaker um, topper closer <laughs> Whatever. and then of course estate okay two weeks ago I used craft foam for building my shaker but I didn't know how to do it with this one <laughs> except um, yeah, cutting four sheets and then the whole trying to align it might have been a little bit too difficult so I'm um, currently off to fetch my sentiment which I forgot to pull out and I'm using your next stamp it's a really old one you can see it's, it's all yellow and I'm not sure it's still available this one's called holiday reindeers but you can use any sentiment that you have I didn't want to use the same unique sentiment again <laughs> the, but this one too big that was also studio light by the way so I went for holiday greetings the winter wonderland I thought that would be nicer if it's all white if you have really can you hear it by the way it's the shaker material. It's like it's, it's snowing. Well, anyway, it's fun to shake it around. <laughs> of course, I'm using Versafine Clear Ink. And uh, I'm measuring it with the base of the globe that I die cut from silver cardstock. And that will be my base and you can of course do it from wooden color one or maybe inlay the bits that I pull out at the end but uh, I think it's busy as it is and then one may well, that plastic is very uh, plastic <laughs> static -y. and now I'm, I'm kind of trying to erase all the pencil marks that I made And because I want the depth in the snow globe or in the landscape, I'm putting foam tape in between each layer. Which is one of my pet <laughs> peeves, is that the word? Because you can see it from the sides. And I don't like it. So <laughs> yeah. But yeah, 
I, I have those um, mecha beads. I almost went and pulled all the white ones out of the pink. <laughs> yeah, not that crazy. They actually do more for birth cards, I think, for baby cards. So these are nail art confetti. These are the Ries mixed media glitter and micro beads. And you can use whatever you have, of course. I wanted them to be small because I only want to do one layer, but I want a little bit of beads to go in between each layer. So they can't be big uh, seed beads, uh, but they could be, but then your layers have to be thicker. And I think my card is big enough as it is. So here I'm trying to support the little uh, purple scene section with more foam tape in the corner. And see. I think that it needs it. And then I am making a mess with my glitter. Because when you pull up the sometimes your card base or card front it kind of pulls with it and then the glitter goes everywhere. Uh, I probably should have done it at the end because I think there is enough room for it to go in front. I didn't think it would so I, I've been making a mess and I, I left it there by the way in the end because <laughs> life is too short. <laughs> Especially after midnight. This is when I'm doing this and there you can see because I'm tired. But I wanted to film it and not go to bed because otherwise I would be laying in bed. I don't know if you're like me that you're just thinking about it and thinking and yeah and then I just think oh, I'll just go get up and do it. <laughs> get it out of the way. So the um, the stacking is, yeah, I'm looking from it from underneath, I can't show it to you. It's not completely perfect in the middle. But I'm okay with it actually. Because it helps to make the frame of the scene. I am, actually that's my story. <laughs> I'm sticking with it. So I'm going a little bit closer now so I don't have to put in the corners but I forgot I'm making a shaker so I should probably close it and my uh, scissors were getting really sticky now but yeah if, well, if I'm going a little bit closer then there's more support already and you won't see it so I thought that was better and trying to get all the little corners uh, supported and everything. I think maybe the little fox could have used a little bit more support, but then stuff might stick to it, like my fingers. This tape is very sticky, so if you put it on once, it is stuck. And uh, what I noticed is that the example on the package is purple which was my inspiration of course and excuse but it's the other way around <laughs> yeah don't know why my fox is clearly looking to the right and i was actually doubting whether i had them the right way but when you pull them for your machine then you get those nice little rounded corners on the front and on the back they look a little bit not frayed but uh, sharper so I am sure that's the way around just the example on the package is the wrong way it's a bit silly make sure your shaker card is very well closed tightly because I'm using my micro beads and my glitter it's very important that nothing can escape so the little houses in the back 
and then I'm just using tape runner to close it. No more layers. <laughs> I thought that was enough. And you can do it with plastic if you prefer, but I like the black, uh, the, sorry, the dark purple. And then more tape runner so that you can actually attach it to the card. And I thought it might need a little bit more support here in the middle as well. So three layers in the end, it's quite a lot. Haven't tested it yet, I'm not sure if it goes into a standard envelope, but we'll see when, <laughs> when I need that. So I'm just attaching it to the card base, and you can see that uh, it's so not neat. But yeah, as I said, I didn't know how to do it all otherwise. And um, I like it when it's flat on the front. But I might make a snow globe, proper snow globe from it as well. Just not today. See, and it, it does uh, cut these little bits. So I thought I would just pull them out. And I left the little dots in the middle. Just not the ones at the side. So that's my base. And if you put the little bits back in a different color, say inlay, then you can put the base a little bit higher. I think it looks a little bit weird. The purple, I have one uh, matte one and two normal enamel dots in purple that fitted the color. So they went on there. In a triangular fashion, of course. And that's my card finished. See, this was like uh, that, that big circular die is included for some reason, and I will explore that later. But um, <laughs> I might show it to you in the next card or next video. So, thank you for watching. I hope you like the card, and I will see you again soon. Bye!